We've seen a lot of phones over the years, but I still have a soft spot in my heart for a device that has a physical QWERTY keyboard, and the BlackBerry Q10 is one of those devices. It's a new device from BlackBerry, and yes, the design may look old, but it's packing some nice specs under the hood, including a dual-core processor, BlackBerry 10, and this gorgeous physical QWERTY keyboard that's fun to type on when you get a lot of emails. Is this a device for you? We're going to find out in the full video review of the BlackBerry Q10, which starts right now. First, we saw the BlackBerry Z10, the all-touch device that kind of followed up the BlackBerry Storm line of devices, and it was the first device to run BlackBerry 10. This is the BlackBerry Q10, so for you existing BlackBerry users that love the look and feel of your BlackBerry because it's got a physical QWERTY keyboard, and you're like, my, you're like me, for example. You send and receive three to 500 emails a day. You're constantly on the go emailing. The physical keyboard may be nice. Some people say physical keyboards are going out, but you're that person that's gonna have one until the end of time, until the very last device dies with a physical keyboard. This is gonna be a great unit for you. This is the BlackBerry Q10. It's the next BlackBerry 10 device available from BlackBerry, and it's coming very soon to the US. It's rolling out right now on T-Mobile, coming to Sprint and Verizon as well. And even though AT&T hasn't announced, I have a feeling it'll come to AT&T as well. Pricing, you're looking at about 250 bucks, and I'm gonna tell you right out of the gate, that's a huge problem for this device. 250 bucks for a device that looks like it's out of 2005 is not gonna be a good selling strategy in comparison to, for example, the iPhone 5 or the Galaxy S4, or the HTC One or the Optimus G Pro. There are a plethora of devices. Heck, you can get the Nexus 4 for $299 without a contract, and it's arguably spec'd better than this device. So if you want BlackBerry 10, it's gonna be a nice device. If you want a physical keyboard, it's gonna be a nice device. If you want that upgrade, to a better BlackBerry, it's gonna be a nice device, but unfortunately this, yet again, seems to be targeting existing BlackBerry users and not really bringing new people over to the platform. It just looks old, and that's the biggest thing, and I am a diehard, was a diehard BlackBerry fan for years. If you remember way back when, I ran our BlackBerry subsite, our network site, when we had it, Beberry Dog. And so I've been a big BlackBerry fan, say big BlackBerry, that's hard to say three times fast, big BlackBerry fan for a long time. So it's sad for me to say this, but, this is gonna be a tough sell when you can get other devices for 50 bucks cheaper that have specs that are better and it's more popular device and Android's more popular and like, there's just callous issues. That said, this is a fantastic keyboard. I've been working with it for a couple weeks now and I will literally pick up this device when I'm traveling just to email. I was in Vegas earlier in the week for work and I carried this phone around not to make phone calls, not to make it, not to do anything within the system or look at maps or anything like that because it does still feel antiquated to me. That said, I spent the time emailing on this device and found it to be quite useful. Now that said, we'll jump right into it. BlackBerry 10 here out of the gate and to give you a rundown of the specifications, you're looking at a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 CPU. It's got a 3.1 inch HD display. So that's a nice upgrade from previous BlackBerry QWERTY devices. An eight megapixel camera on the back with 1080p HD video recording capabilities. So you're up to, uh, up to par, I should say, there, which is nice. Then a front facing camera that's two megapixels with 720p HD video recording. So that's good all around there. 2,100 milliamp hour battery in the back and it's 4.9 ounces in terms of weight. So it feels good in the hand. It does feel bigger than like the Bold 9900 or the 9930. So if you're coming from that, it is a little bit thicker, a little bit different feeling in the hand. In terms of overall look and feel, power button up top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top as well. You've got your volume rocker and your shortcut key here, your voice key. You've got an HDMI port and a micro USB charging port over on this side. And you've got kind of a texturized, not texturized, but a different looking battery door here. It looks like a carbon fiber battery door and it's not actually texturized, but what it is is just a print on the actual cover itself and then on the top piece up here. 2,100 milliamp hour battery, like I said, micro SD card slot and of course your micro SIM card slot back there and that is your device. It's running BlackBerry 10.1, so the newest version of BlackBerry's operating system, and it brings a ton of new gesture opportunities from BlackBerry 7. So when you're comparing Blackberries to Blackberries, this is gonna be one of those funny puns, when you're comparing Blackberries to Blackberries, this is an ultimate upgrade. BlackBerry 10.1 is substantially better than BlackBerry OS 7. That said, comparing this to Android Jelly Bean, comparing this to iOS 6, comparing this to even Windows Phone 8, huge improvements there as well. So this is definitely something that's up to par, but like I said in the, in the snapshot review, when you go and you compete with somebody, you run to win. You don't run to run side by side with people. So it's like they caught up to like 2011 or 2012 here when they should have caught up to 2013. And unfortunately, I think a lot of that had to do with them releasing the device or announcing it and then waiting a year to release it. Because we've been hearing about BlackBerry 10 forever, but I think it's that long delay 
that BlackBerry had that really hurt them with these devices. That said, I hope it sells well. The keyboard's fantastic. And speaking of keyboard, we're gonna jump right in to a sample BlackBerry message so we can just take a look at what it looks like here. And I say, hey there, how are you? Which this is not actually a BlackBerry message, but today. Hey there, how are you doing today? Incredibly easy to type on. You got a four row QWERTY keyboard here. And the keys, while I will say one thing, I wish they were a little bit more sloped like the BlackBerry Bold 9900 and 9930. I'm not sure why they decided to go straight across with these. I find it just ever so slightly harder to type on. That said, they're big, they feel great, and I love this for composing emails or sending text messages on the fly. So I can say this, the test, and it, as funny as it sounds, after years of using BlackBerry physical keyboards, it took me a hot minute to get back used to the keyboard on this device, just because I've been using on-screen keyboards for so long, but it was like coming home, just a fantastic, coming on home to BlackBerry's keyboard. It was fantastic, which I hate that reference, but you get the idea, fantastic to do that and get back used to a nice physical QWERTY keyboard, even though they're experiencing some issues staying relevant, in my opinion, in the marketplace. Love this as well. So just to give you a quick run through of BlackBerry 10 here, you've got your open applications right here, and you can see I have a battery one that I downloaded from BlackBerry World, and then I have weather here, maps, and Twitter open, and I just see random issues with BlackBerry 10. For example, my Twitter's been loading now for two weeks. I haven't been able to get it to load up. I haven't tried removing it, but I haven't been able to get it to load up. Not sure why it's doing that. I inputted the correct information, it verified it, but it's not loading up, so. Little things like that I find particularly interesting, but this is BlackBerry Hub, and this brings together all of your email accounts, your BlackBerry Messenger account, your calls, your text messages, and more, kind of an on-one messaging center. So from there, your applications, and then from there, or the open applications, I should say, and then from here, applications that are available on the device out of the box or stuff that you've downloaded. Now, this includes BlackBerry World, the new browser, which we'll take a look at right now and load up phonedog.com and a couple of other goodies which we'll talk about later in part one and in part two. So phonedog.com loading up right now. You got your tabs over here where I can start a new tab and switch right back to phonedog. Easy to access and of course pinch to zoom should work depending on how our site loads up. Our site may have loaded in a certain mobile version which is making it impossible but we shall see. Yeah, it looks like it's in the, in the uh, mobile version, but if you're in a non-mobile version, you can pinch to zoom, and it is nice and responsive. And then over here, I've got my shortcut, settings, download, site info, add to home screen. And I will say it takes some time to get used to the gesture notifications, or navigations, rather, on BlackBerry 10. I find it, for example, swiping up sometimes doesn't register, even for me, I may not be doing it the right way, or you know, little things like that. I may go here and forget to X out. Just takes me a hot minute to get used to all of that stuff. But like I said, social media stuff out of the box, you got your maps, you got box, and then you got print to go, and of course your phone as well, and then camera. So in part two, we'll talk about the camera, which is eight megapixels, and some of the benefits it has, and we'll talk about whether it can compete with the Android, the iOS alternatives, even the Windows Phone 8 alternatives, on the marketplace. Stay tuned for part two, but before we sign off, special thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like this for use in our One Paw Bandit giveaway game. When you go into Best Buy Mobile, you'll walk out working. They'll get your QWERTY device set up and ready to go, so you're banging out those messages when you walk out the door at Best Buy Mobile. Also, want to thank our partners at GSM Nation for giving us the review unit to take a look at and give it, run it through its paces. Thanks to GSM Nation. You can find them online at gsmnation.com and actually order this device if you'd like, which is a nice touch. Stay tuned for part two. We'll talk about camera, settings, and more.